Hey everyone, it is week four of art school. My class for today is contemporary studio practices. It's back on for the first time since week one because the lockdown started on pretty much the same day that we had it and didn't finish till the day after the next week. Um, so it's my second lesson of it, even though it is week four. And today we're just going to be working on the assignment that we've been given for that one. I've done about half of the assignment, so I'm really hoping I can get the rest of it done, like, or at least most of it done during the lesson. I just finished class. It was three and a half hours, but that one always feels like the longest class of the week, even though my other two are both six hours. I think because there's so much talking and listening involved in that class, we went through like the art gallery website and went through the assignment together and then we had time to work on our assignments individually which was really good because I was able to ask questions about some of the questions that I didn't quite understand. Today went really well and I think I'm pretty confident now that I can finish my assignment within the next couple of days and it's not due until the week after next week. Originally it was due next week but they changed the date due to the fact that we didn't have class due to lockdown. I have drawing class today and we're going to be doing organic shapes today. I'm not sure exactly what that entails but I'm hoping it's going to be like a little bit easier for me than ellipses and boxes. <laughs> anyway, I'm pretty excited. I'll talk to you guys after class. I just finished drawing class and today it doesn't feel like my brain's going to explode. Uh, so for the first half of the day, we drew a ram skull. Again, it was just a line drawing with really basic detail. And then the second half of the day, we had a live model come in and we just practiced drawing like a bounding box around the figure and putting in like the main points. So it doesn't really look anything like a person. It kind of looks like abstract cubism. Um, but from there like there's enough information that if we had more time we could draw it as a person and we did that like a few times um yeah the first ones were just like just the bounding box and then the I think like the third and fourth ones were like the bounding box with the key points and then the last two were like a lot more detailed the last one was quite a bit more detailed so I'm not actually going to show that one to you guys because I feel like it kind of doesn't fit with my channel um but yeah I'll show you all the rest of them. And the homework for today's class is to draw a pair of shoes and then for the second half of the class our homework is to find 10 images of a person and just draw like a bounding box and for five of them draw a bounding box with the main points of where the person meets the bounding box um, so they're going to be like really basic, but the shoes is like the main task. So this should be pretty fun. This is the drawing of a ram skull that I did in class. The drawing is A1, so it's really huge. So you can barely see it, but the first of the bounding boxes is here. And that was just the bounding box. The second one is here and obviously I've gotten in a few points on that one which is cool um, because I was a bit more used to drawing the bounding box around the human form and then the third one is over here and I've got in those main points again and then the fourth one I did is over here and that has again the main points marked in and this is the first of my longer drawings, so as you can see, it is very much like a abstract cubism kind of drawing. Like, so that is where his leg was, that's where his other leg was, that was his arm, that was his other arm, that's where his head was, that was the line for his waist. Um, but it's very, very abstract. It is drawing homework time. I actually realised I forgot my gorilla pod, so... I guess I'll just show it to you guys after. Maybe I'll take little bits of film during, um, but yeah, I can't do a time lapse for this one. These are my five bounding boxes, and these are my five bounding boxes with the main points and the head marked in. And of course, some of these look quite strange, and that's because they are yoga poses. So here's Noelle. 
Um, this is what I have to put up with every time I do my drawing homework. She's so naughty, but I love her so much. But she's always trying to attack me. She thinks drawing is a game, and she thinks my measuring stick is a toy. And she'll come and lie on my book uh, or on the couch, and then she'll just start, like, attacking me anytime I go to, like, do some work. Um, and, I mean, she's, she's just stopped now, thankfully. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Oh, no, there she goes again. She is so naughty. Look at her. She's so cute, though. But yeah, um, it makes doing drawing homework a tad difficult because, yeah, you can see my book there and she's just, she's just going for it. She's like, yeah, this is fun. And I'm like, um, no, 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 well, get off my book, please. Seriously, stop biting my hand. Yeah, I think she thinks I'm edible as well. Um, it's a good thing she's not any bigger because I'm sure she would have eaten me by now. Um, but yes, no, she, she wants to stay on my drawing book, which is quite unfortunate and she doesn't want to get off the couch either it's like come on ma'am seriously that's a naughty cat but I love her here are my ice skates and I've just drawn up my bounding box sorry the camera's having trouble focusing um, but yeah there's my bounding box on the page and here's my ice skates part way through I'm really annoyed at myself that I forgot my gorilla pod here they are a little bit further through um obviously they're getting their laces put in now so they're starting to look a lot more like ice skates and they're looking really good here and here they are completely finished i'm really happy with how they turned out the laces were so tricky it felt like the laces were going nowhere for ages and then right at the last minute the ice skates look completely finished i just finished my drawing homework the bounding boxes and the bounding boxes with the main points marked in kind of don't really look like anything but they make sense to me and then the ice skates I was really happy with those like it felt like they were going nowhere for ages and the laces oh my goodness the laces were like when I was drawing them in it just felt like I was getting nowhere with them and then like right at the last second they were finished and I was like what the, what how okay so ice skate laces don't make any sense to draw um they're nearly as bad as a tape measure. <laughs> I have just arrived at art school. It is Friday, which means it's painting day, which is my favorite day of the week. Um, oh, I'm so excited. Today in the morning, we're going to be working on a painting that we started last week in the afternoon session. And then this afternoon, we're going to be starting with color which is going to be so exciting i think we're just doing a color wheel but i'm just i'm so keen i love color so much and it feels like ages that i've been working in black and white but i also feel like i've learned so much from working in black and white like i've learned to really really pay attention to the tones so i'm so excited <laughs> I can't believe I have been here it's nearly five weeks. This is the end of week four. And look how much my hair's grown. You can actually see my natural color now. The rain has kind of paused a bit. So now we're going to make a run for class. And I will talk to you guys after class. Class was really good today. I managed to finish the painting that I started last class in the afternoon session. We did that this morning. And I'm super happy about it. I'm so like it looks great like I can't wait to show you guys and then in the afternoon today we started our color wheels which we'll be continuing work on next week but I'll show it to you guys when I get home from here anyway our homework today is to paint a yellow object on a yellow background three times in 30 minutes 20 minutes and 10 minutes and we're only allowed to use yellow white and blue as our colors I'm pretty nervous about this one actually because I, I can't even think of a yellow object right now um, but anyway let's go home and start the homework here's the last black and white painting which I finished in the morning session of this week's lesson I'm so happy with how this turned out especially like the black bottle the shine on that this is the color chart that we did in class Obviously you can see that the outer layer hasn't been done and neither has the inner circle. Here's a time lapse of me making a painting using only ultramarine blue, titanium white and cadmium yellow. So I was really nervous about the color palette for this week so I wanted to do a painting before going in and doing my speed paintings just to be able to see how the colors would mix and react with each other and how I could still get like tonal realism with them. Um, 
despite them being the incorrect colors. So yeah, I just did this painting. I'd already drawn it up like the week before and I just decided I was going to do it in blue, yellow and white to test the palette. And I, I feel really good about how it came out. This is my painting of this subject. And I've painted it using only blue, white, and yellow. And I've done that to practice for my speed painting. I'm a little bit like, I feel like the pearls should have been lighter. And other than that, I think I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's good. It's time to do the fast paintings using only blue, yellow, and white. I was feeling super nervous before, so that's why I did the painting with blue, yellow, and white only of the sunglasses and the mug. And now that I've done that, I feel a bit more confident, so I think I'm ready. And, I mean, I'm still nervous, of course, because it's quite a small time frame for something completely new, but I'm pretty excited for it, so let's get started. Here is my time lapse of my speed paintings. Obviously right now I'm working on the 30 minute one, so I've got a lot more time to do the drawing and fill in all the tones and everything. It is quite a complicated subject because corn has so many different shades in it. Obviously now I'm working on my 20 minute one, so I have to do this a lot faster. It's uh, less accurate. And then now the 10 minute one, and again, it's like ready, set, go, you're finished. This is my lemon and piece of corn on a plate. This is my 30 minute painting of a lemon and piece of corn on a plate. My 20 minute painting of a lemon and a piece of corn on a plate. And my 10 minute painting of a lemon and a piece of corn on a plate. Overall, I feel that the 20 minute one was the most successful because the 30 minute one, although it has more detail, I was just like, it was my first time painting it. So I was getting used to like the shapes and it was just kind of a bit of a mess. The 20 minute one obviously is slightly less detailed than the 30 minute one because I had less time, but it just overall, the shape feels more right. The colors feel more right. It feels a lot more like real life. And then the 10 minute one feels extremely abstract. It's not very detailed. I mean, obviously like it, the background's sort of the wrong tone. Um, it still has the feel of a lemon and corn on a, on a plate, but the 20 minute one is probably my favorite. Here's a time lapse of me painting just the lemon on its own on a piece of yellow paper. So I felt kind of like my speed paintings this week weren't as good as I would have liked them to have been. So I thought, well, to make myself feel better, I will try and paint the lemon that I used in the speed paintings just on its own, still using the same colors. So it's just ultramarine blue, cad yellow and titanium white and I'll try and get like a tonal accuracy even though the colors are wrong for the subject um, and so yeah I just tried to paint this lemon as best I could and I actually really really enjoyed painting this lemon it is about a three so it's a rather large painting of a lemon I just did a new painting because I felt really disappointed in my speed paintings this week and so I painted the lemon that I used in my speed paintings. I put it on a piece of paper and I would have painted the corn as well, but I ate that. It was really delicious. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm really happy with how my new lemons come out and I feel better about myself because the speed paintings made me feel like not so great about myself as an artist. And I just, I was like, no, I need to paint something nice to feel better about myself. So. I painted this lemon in about two hours and it's about a three size. I'll flip the camera so that you guys can see it. This is my lemon using only blue, yellow and white. And then this is my actual lemon. As you can see, the shadow side of it has like a lot of like reds and oranges in it. Um, but obviously I only had blue, yellow and white. So that's quite green there on mine. Other than that though, I think I'm really happy with it. This is just the school, the teachers, and the subjects listed in my credits here. And thank you so much for joining me for this week's video of week four art school. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys again soon.